in the enchanting glimpse of Piazza Duomo in Otranto stands the ancient cathedral dedicated to St. Mary Assunta in Cielo. Its size is located on the highest point of the old village and overlooks all the buildings of the city. The cathedral was built by the Norman conquerors in the 11th century, who built it in the typical geometries of the Apulian Romanesque style. At the top, there is the characteristic rose window of clear Gothic Iberian derivation, formed by 16 rays and finely perforated according to the canons of late 15th century art. To adorn the entrance is a portal in Lick. It dates back to 1674 and was built according to the customs of the Lecce Barocchi. Inside the cathedral, you can admire a structure with a basilica plan, where the hall is marked by arches and columns of granite. The lights and colors are enlivened by the graceful hanging wooden sky above the central aisle, rich in precious metals such as gold and silver. But the most evocative aspect of the entire Cathedral of Otranto is certainly the floor mosaic. The artistic work covers the entire nave, the apse and the side rooms. The mosaic was made in 1163 by the presbyter Pantaleone. In the full Romanesque artistic spirit, images from different cultures and countries converge in the mosaic as if to represent the ancient vocation of Otranto, a frontier city between the Levant and the West. The Chapel of the Martyrs preserves preciously the remains of the Otentines decapitated by the Turks on the hill of Minerva during the terrible events of 1480. In the underground levels of the cathedral extends the ancient crypt, decorated in the Norman period. The capitals that decorate the colonnade are precious evidence of the history of Mediterranean art and come from different places and eras and then reused as re-employment according to the customs of the Romanesque period. The cathedral is full of ancient charm, among the most sacred places of Salento religious piety and an illustrated page of the history of the peoples of Europe. 